Good day, Father. Matt Williams here in my park car. Where do we go right now as we deal with and process all of this tragedy going on in, in, in Boston and, in let's face it, in other parts of our country as well, in West Texas? We have to go to Jesus. We have to go to his word, sacred scripture. And I'm reading from John's Gospel, uh, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and we know that word is the eternal son, right? We pray in our creed, right? He is eternally begotten of the Father, okay? In the beginning was the word. The word is the eternal son. And the word, the eternal son, was with God. He was with God, so he's one with him, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's with God, and the word was God, because he is the eternal son. He is God from God, light from light, true God from true God, consubstantial with the Father, meaning he's of the same substance of the Father. He is God. He was in the beginning with God because he's the eternal Son of God, right? And all things were made through him. So all creation comes through Christ, is created through the eternal Son. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. In the eternal Son is life. God is life. And all life comes from God. All life comes from God. All life comes from God. If God doesn't create, no life comes into being. All life comes into being because God is life itself. There's not a human person on this earth or ever has been or ever will be on this earth that does not come from God who is life itself. Or should I say life himself? Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? In him was life, and the life was the light of men. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Christ Jesus teaches us what it means to be human. He is our light. He shows us what it means for us to live in this world. He goes before us. And it says, the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. In other words, the light of Christ has shone into our sins, has shone into death itself, and darkness has not overcome it. He has overcome, for he is light, he is light, he has overcome darkness, he has overcome sin, he has overcome death. I love that line. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Well, we feel today that maybe... Darkness is overcoming us. Maybe darkness is triumphing. And in many ways, in unfelt experience, it is. Until we look with the eyes of faith a little bit more closely, and we see how the light of Christ shines through people. Think of all the brave men and women right now running about all through the greater Boston area, trying to find the person, the suspect who has done these things. Think of their heroic action of putting their life on the line for us. Think of all the first responders who helped uh, laying a hand, helping out to bring healing to all those people that were affected by the bombings. Think of all the, the nurses and the doctors. Do you see the light of God flowing through their heroic acts of love, their charity, their service, their compassion, their being with, the solidarity that we share? You see God, how God works through people. In an extraordinary way, in, in, in the celebration of the sacraments, God comes to us in um, ways that we say are efficacious. That we, we encounter God infallibly in the sacraments. And God's grace, God's life comes to us through the sacraments. It comes to us through the Word of God. God has also wired us in such a way that His light, His grace can flow through me, can flow through you, that we can be a source of light shining in the darkness for each other. That you, right now, can be a source of Christ's light shining into darkness right now. So when we look around and we experience this darkness, we look a little more closely and we see individuals, we see people, we can see and notice the light of Christ, Christ's light coming into our darkness. The more we draw closer to the one who is light itself, the more his light will penetrate us and the more his light can flow through us. You see, this is how God's ordered the world to be. That his light, his grace, his love, we would receive and in turn become a vessel to give to others. That other people would encounter the light and the love and the power of God's grace through you today. 
So as we look amidst the darkness that is around us, Jesus Christ is present by his grace and the example witness of others in, the, in our prayers, in the power and the presence of the sacraments and the church and the word of God. His grace and his light is there. We need to tap into it and in turn become a vessel of that light, of that grace for others. For the light has shone into the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Draw close to Christ and be his light in the world today because people desperately need it. God bless you.